Right now at five, more possible advice for the Omaha Public School District. The State Board of Education is looking at intervening. The discussion comes at a time when the current school board is dealing with multiple problems, including having to restart its search for a superintendent. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski is live in Lincoln with details you'll see only on three. Jake. Guys, the state commissioner and board members brought up the concerns because they've been receiving calls asking what they can do. Now they say it's pretty limited. The Omaha Public School Board is back to square one for the superintendent's search since recently all three finalists dropped out. Two of them did so when they learned the board wouldn't unanimously approve a candidate. It's hard for an administration to work when a board doesn't work. Today, the State Board of Education voiced their concerns about how everything's been handled. Sadly, in the case of Omaha, I'm going to I'm just going to put it the way I see it. You know, you got a board that doesn't appear to be functional. Um, it's affecting their ability to get a superintendent. The State Board of Education says that they legally can't do much to help Omaha, but they can offer help and support for the OPS board if they want it. Nebraska is a local control state when it comes to superintendents and the board members. I propose, however, that we start doing work with boards in a fashion in with school boards association and others that would be logical to do that work. A law passed in 2014 allowed the state to identify Omaha's Druid Hill Elementary as one of three priority schools to help them improve, but they said there was no need to give the OPS board direction since they had a good working relationship with administrators. Board members say in the future they need more options. In this case we do not have a contingency plan and it looks like we might, if you will, eventually implement one or initiate a contingency plan just for such a situation. The state board says that they didn't want this to be taken as a criticism session, but more as a way to ask boards across Nebraska what they need to be successful. Reported live in Lincoln, Jake Wiskowski, 3 News Now. The Omaha School Board is still reeling after a tough start to the year. The board is scrambling after missing a deadline for a bond issue expected to follow the $241 million bond approved in 2014. The move could delay millions of dollars for school upgrades. It comes as the board is still searching for a replacement for Mark Evans, who announced his retirement in October. Last month, all three superintendent finalists quit, citing concerns about the board. And in January, the school board spent more than five hours and 120 votes before it elected Lacey America its president. If the state of Nebraska